Here's a Samsung Galaxy A54 smartphone. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. So first thing is after you turn it on, you should be on the welcome screen here. Go ahead and choose your language down here. I'm good with English in the US. I'm going to tap on start. Down here it says you can insert a SIM card now, but I typically do it after I'm done with the setup. Okay, so if you want to know how to do the insert the SIM card, look in the link below for the next video. Okay. For your review, you must tap both of these in order to proceed, okay? So you can look under details on them. For myself, I'm fine with all of them. I can just agree to all, and that last one is optional. I'm going to tap on agree for myself. Now here it says set up using another device. So to copy settings, accounts, and more from a different tablet, keep it nearby unlocked. So you have another phone, Android phone, uh, even iPhone or iPad. You click down here if you want to transfer. But for myself, I want a clean, fresh install. So I'm going to tap on skip for myself. And I'm going to go ahead and choose my Wi-Fi network here. You can always skip this and do it now. I'm going to go ahead and do it now so I can get that latest software update. So let me go to my Wi-Fi here, input my password. Just entered my Wi-Fi password. Let's tap on connect. And now it says connect it getting your phone ready this may take a few minutes and here we have copy apps and data so you can choose to transfer your apps photos contacts Google account and more from an Android device or another phone or an iPhone okay so if you want to go ahead and do that you tap on next right here and up here it says you need an old old Android iPhone or iPad device okay so for myself again I want a complete clean install so I'm gonna click on back and for myself I'm gonna click on don't copy Sign into your Google account, your Gmail. You can go ahead and create a new account, or you can go ahead and sign in, or you can skip, and you can always do this later, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and skip, and I'll just do it later. Google services, read through all these, use location, allow scanning, send usage, and diagnostic data. These are all optional, okay? So it's up to you, but for me, I'm fine with all of these clicked, and I'm gonna tap on accept for myself. Protect your phone, basically a, a password. You can do a face ID password, fingerprint, pin, password, or pattern, okay? I would advise go ahead and just put something in right now. So for myself, I'm just going to do a pin. It's a um, six-digit pin here, so let me choose my pin. And I'm going to tap on continue. And then I'm going to go ahead and re-enter the password. And I'm going to tap on OK right there. Getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. Now you can always go back and add like a fingerprint or a face ID password as well, okay? Samsung account, you can go ahead and log in or you can create an account or you can skip it, log in later or you can skip it and never sign in, okay? I'm gonna skip it, I'm not gonna sign in. Samsung services, go ahead and read through these. These are all optional, okay? But for me, I'm fine with having all of them toggled on and I'm gonna tap on agree. Display preference, do you guys like it light? Or do you want it dark? Most of you guys will go with dark. I like dark myself, so I'm going to tap on next. You're all set up. Tap, you can explore your, uh, your galaxy down here, or you can just tap on finish. And voila, we are in business. So for the next video, I'm going to go ahead and install the SIM card. If you want to know how to do that, look in the link below. All right.